Hey, what's up guys? Saha Man back with another Jada Toys Metal Diecast figure review. I have had these figures for, I think, a, over a month or maybe, yeah, I think over a month. I don't think it's been two months, but today we're going to be taking a look at the Metal Diecast Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Nickelodeon Raphael and Michelangelo Diecast figures. It's a lot of diecast in that. So uh, the reason why I'm behind on this is because I have been working on the toy room and a lot of other stuff, a lot of other figures I've had to review. I am behind on the Metal Diecast figure reviews, but um, I had a request to if I can get these reviews up today, and I'm gonna work on them right now since I have been behind on these. Now, these are the new Metal Diecast Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Raphael and Michelangelo. Haven't even picked up the other two yet. I, I reviewed the deluxe one, the six inch one, um, when I had first got these ones. I just never got around to, to reviewing them. But, um, so here is the packaging, Metal Diecast. You can see the packaging right here. So it's pretty nice packaging. Metal Diecast is really doing their thing. Uh, if you guys follow them on Instagram, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram too, but if you guys follow them on Instagram, uh, I think it was the Anime Expo, they showed some of the new lines that are gonna be coming out and they got Power Rangers in the works. They got an Iron Monger uh, from Iron Man and there's an Iron Man figure you could put inside the Iron Monger. They got some wrestling figures. Um, some more DC, a lot of DC stuff, but uh, their line is really, really growing. On the back right here, you have all the other figures uh, and some of the variants too, because some of the variants are going to have them without their weapons, which is pretty much the same as these ones here. And then you have the deluxe ones right there. So that's the one I definitely want to pick up. Now, actually, you know what? I could be, yeah, no, yeah, okay, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm a little wrong. So these ones here. Oh, okay, so they have two inch ones. I never looked at that. So there's two inch ones, there's four inch ones, which we're reviewing right now, and then there's a six inch Leo, which I already reviewed. So they're gonna have some different scale ones. So here is Raphael and Michelangelo. Let's go ahead and open these bad boys up. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. the figures outside of the packaging somebody uh, left a comment on one of my videos I believe it was for uh, I think I don't know what metal diecast figure review but they asked me how I open the packaging on the metal diecast because it is a little bit I mean it's not tricky but you have to kind of tear the box open to open these up and what I do is I just take the tape I get my my knife my trusty little knife right here get the sides and that's pretty much it pop the top open and pull this out and then just get the packaging out that's how I get these out so that was just to answer the question really quick anyways so we have the figures right here we got Raphael and Michelangelo first one we'll look at is Mikey very very cool cool figure now one thing new that metal diecast is doing is they're adding articulation to their their little characters so you have Mikey and he's holding his nunchucks right here which are removable so you can take these out which I think is an awesome little addition they have these little protective plastics on them so you can see right here here's a close-up on the the nunchucks and they are on the soft rubber side but the metal and the the, the metal chain part really looks cool so you can see very good detailing and if you wanted to you can store these in the back right there and he actually can put these away if you don't want him to hold on to his nunchucks which I think is awesome you can put them onto the holsters very very cool little you know thing that you can do with these metal die cast figures now you have the belt right here with the little holsters you got the belt going across this way with the M you have his turtle shell here and you have a big happy face on Mikey you have the purple band or I'm sorry the uh, orange bandana you got this part coming over here. It's a little bit on the soft rubber material side. Big old grin. Look at that. You can see the yellow tongue there. And then the um, yellow bandana is going around the arms. And same thing with the, the knees right here. And then you have the little feet. Here's the bottom right there. And then the back of the figure. And you can't see the screw holes. That's one thing about metal die cast is that you can see a lot of the screw holes in the back of the um, the characters. Now, he does have articulation, like I mentioned. He does have rotation at the head. It can go up and down too, and the arms do go forward and back. And that's it, there is no wrist articulation on this guy, so it's just forward and back on the arms, head rotation and goes up and down. It's on a ball joint, and nothing in the legs. Now, part of him is obviously metal, so he is metal die cast. I think pretty much the whole thing is minus the hands. So very, very cool Mikey figure right here. Put him aside. 
and we got Raphael. This is so cool. Now this has the look of the um, the animated series, the old animated series from the late 80s. And this guy is cold. You can feel the metal on him is very, very cold. He's got his signature size right here, which are removable as well. So we'll take these off of the hands. Get the plastic on off them and you can see here what they look like. Very nice. And then the detailing right there in the handles. Again, soft rubber material. You can place the size and the holsters. Now this one looks like it might be kind of a tight fit. Yeah, this one might be a little bit too tight to place back here and I was doing it wrong. That is a blooper for Raphael. I don't know why I was doing it that way, but you can place them in there that way right there. I don't know what the heck I was doing trying to put these in here that way. So these go in just like that and we'll take these right out. But I mean, you're not gonna wanna display these, you know, in their holsters anyways. You definitely wanna have them holding their weapons. So he's got the red bandana, you can see going there. And uh, I like the, the red on this. It's a really, really nice color red. And he's got more of an angry look to him. I love the big eyes, the teeth. You can make up the teeth. You got the R in the belt. And then again, you can see the shell. You can see the, the screw holes there. And then all the red bandanas in the arm, very muscular and then the lower legs. So it's pretty much, it looks to be pretty much the same sculpt. I'm trying to see if the color is a little bit different on the turtles. I don't know if there is, it might be slightly different. I mean, what do you guys think, their, their skin color? I don't know, it looks really, really cool though. Now what I wanna do is show you guys a quick little comparison. I like doing these little comparisons with Funko and Jada toys because I kinda think, and this is in my head, I kinda think Jada might be com competing with the whole Funko uh, pop line, you know, with some of their licensings and everything. And the only difference is obviously Funko doesn't do a lot of, you know, detailing that Jada does, like the whole face. They don't, they don't, they don't normally put lips on them. They did on the turtle ones. These, the end ones are uh, Funko Pops. I have these mixed up here. So if you guys want to see a better comparison of them, but uh, there's a little comparison with the Jada toys figures and the Funko Pop, so you can see the differences in them. And if we turn them to the back, that way you guys can see the detailing in the back. And you guys be the judge in which one is better and uh, which one you guys prefer. They both are around the same price retail. So you can see a little comparison there. There you have it guys, there's my review. Today we're taking a look at the Jada Toys Metal Diecast Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Raphael, and Michelangelo figure. If you guys want to see me review the other two figures, let me know in the comments below. Now, I didn't go over the articulation with Raphael. It's the same exact thing as Michelangelo. If you guys want to pick these up, you guys can uh, go to BigBadToyStore.com, click on the link in the description, and you can pick up these two figures. Let me know what you guys think about these. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button. We'll see you guys later. Peace.